Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for May. I hope everybody is doing well. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. So guys, take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Cancer, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of cancer? Cancer. All right, cancer, you are starting out with justice. You have the queen of pentacles in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse. So, Cancer, I feel like you're getting justice in a situation. Um, there's some sort of, it's it's a karmic justice and it's moving in your favor. Um, I do feel like it had to do with a loss. It had to do with a conflict. Um, could be a loss of money and there could be um, some legal issues involved with this for some of you. Uh, for others of you, I'm seeing it's a loss of a relationship. Um, and you have no intention of going back into that relationship. There was a lot of conflict in that relationship. Uh, you weren't happy about how things ended. So let's see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in the energy of cancer. Show me who is in the energy of cancer. All right, the person in your energy, you have the Four of Cups, you have the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant in the reverse. Yeah, so this is whoever it is that there was a breakup with. Um, I do feel like this person's going to be coming towards you to speak some sort of a truth. This is somebody who has been analyzing everything that has happened between the two of you. Um, they are very focused on that. I do feel like they appear to be ignoring you, but they're not. They're actually thinking deeply about you, but they're overwhelmed with the thoughts that they're having. Um, it's like this person um, couldn't see the love that was there that you were trying to give to them because they were too focused on other things, um, perhaps third parties or, or even things from their past. And so this person is now trying to figure out what to do, how to handle this. But I do feel like they're coming forward. Let me see. Now, they could be impulsive when they come forward, but they, they definitely feel they have a, a truth that they want to, you know, speak to you. All right. So the energy between the two of you, we have the high priestess in the reverse and the four of pentacles in the reverse. All right, so I feel like uh, I feel like this person coming forward could cause you to kind of question yourself. So be careful with that. Um, but overall, I feel like you're getting justice for something that was revealed to you about this person. Um, I feel like this person may be having some financial problems. I can tell you the two of you don't see this connection diff or the same. You're looking at things very differently. Um, this is somebody who has been pretty guarded. And so they're having to lower that guard. They're having to let their guard down um, with regard to you because they're feeling very exposed. I'm also feeling like this is somebody who wants to let bygones be bygones. Um, they're feeling unstable. I will tell you that they desire stability, but they feel very unstable. Um, and it, they definitely feel like you, you've exposed them in some way. Um, whatever it is that you're getting karmic justice for. So let's see what's affecting this connection. Show me what's affecting this connection. Yeah, you feel like you see this person for exactly who they are. And you want justice. And I think you're getting justice. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You may have been giving a lot more to the connection than they were. It, it was very unbalanced. The connection was very unbalanced here. So let's see the outcome. Yeah, you're letting them go. Six of Cups reversed. 
you don't want to come back together with them. So you're releasing them. You're letting them go. You may have um, a lot of bad memories of this person as well. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. This is underlying energy, and it does show some anxiety that is here, either for you or it could be the other person is experiencing anxiety, not knowing what's going to happen. I feel like it's more their anxiety than it is yours, um, but there is some overthinking that's taking place too. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is justice here? Why is justice here for the sign of cancer? Yeah, you may have waited for this person to, to you know, come back to you, or you may have waited for this person to, you know, treat you the way you wanted to be treated, to give you, you know, the justice. I feel like there was a lot of conflict in the relationship, and you also are getting justice here for this person betraying you. You feel betrayed by this person, and I'm also feeling like you waited a long time for this justice to come about, and it, it is coming. So you found out something that made you feel very betrayed and now you're you're waiting for the justice and I feel like your ships are coming in. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? You could be dealing with a Taurus, but you don't have to be. I'm also seeing Scorpio energy. <clears throat> yeah, you walked away from this person. Eight of Cups, the Death card in reverse. But even though you walked away from this person, I feel like you you still kind of left the door open for a long time. You waited for this person to do right by you. But I, I feel like they didn't. I feel like they didn't. I feel like they drugged their feet. So you walked away from them. There is still something that could be unfinished between the two of you. It could be involving something to do with finances. Hmm, look at that. You've got the wheel of fortune in the upright. So whatever is taking place here is moving in your favor. You're getting your karmic justice. Um, you are also, and it has to do with the betrayal. You're also, um, you're also, gosh, I'm sorry, guys. My, my mind just went blank. Um, all right, you have the seven of cups reversed. You have the wheel of fortune. You're moving forward here. And everything is moving in your favor. You're you're getting justice for this betrayal. You thought you never would. You really actually thought you never would, but here it is. Um, I feel like uh, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you gave this person unconditional love. And at this point, you're done. I feel like you may have made a choice. Um, and for some of you, you made a choice to move forward. Others of you, you made a choice to for someone else towards somebody else. Your ships are coming in regardless, and everything is now moving in your favor. So, and I feel like you believe you you didn't believe it would ever happen. All right, so let's look at this person's energy. Why is the Four of Cups here? Oh, look at that. See, now they have justice in reverse. So they know that they did you wrong, and they dwell on this. Ace of Wands. This could have been a purely sexual relationship for them. And they failed to see the love in the relationship. So they know that they did you wrong. They may be trying to pretend that they're the victim, though. Let's see. They want a clean slate with you, but I don't see you doing that. I feel like you've, you've walked away from this, and a lot of you may have chosen somebody else. Why is this Knight of Swords here? And if you chose somebody else, they're playing the victim. Which is funny because they betrayed you. All right, Queen of Cups reversed. And the Four of Cups. So they're presenting to you that they're letting letting you go, but there's still something this person's holding on to. It could even just be a grudge, or they could be trying to hold on to you. Um, but I'm telling you now that they are blaming you for the ending of this relationship. So they're very guarded. Um, there's a sense here that this person may impulsively come forward, but if they do, they're going to speak sharply and cuttingly. So be aware of that. This person's heart is closed. They're not, they're guarded, their heart is closed, and they're not able to express their emotions very well. 
So they're going to come forward. This is somebody who's very logical in the way that they approach things. So they're, they feel like they're the victim here because you've moved on. Um, let's look at the Hierophant in the reverse. King of Cups. And the Three of Coins reversed. Yeah, this person does have feelings for you, but um, they may feel this is a karmic connection. Yeah, so the ending of this connection... Um, is what has made them realize their feelings for you. I feel like this person, uh, this person is experiencing an ending here. There's some sort of an ending of an existing foundation. And it could be the, the ending of this connection, or it could be outside of this. For some, it's, it's something to do with work. They could have lost their job, or there could be something to do with how they get their money. But it's a contract of some sort that's over. Yeah, it's a karmic contract. There's a karmic contract that's here that's ending. Yeah. All right, so let's see um, the energy between the two of you. This person's holding a grudge, though. They're, Cancer, they're, they're blaming you for the ending of this connection. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah. Once again, it's Cancer, you know, is the one who treated me unjustly. And therefore, I'm I'm having to release them. I'm having to let them go. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, this person may not have been single. They could have been pretending to be single and using their wand... <laughs> inappropriately, as it were, because um, there's some third-party energy that's showing up here for some of you, not for everybody. This person is letting go. They're, they're moving forward here, but they're moving forward as if they are the victim. Um, in your energy, I do see that, you know, you're being very patient with the situation. It looks like you're no longer single, though. You have patiently waited for the karmic justice to come. And like I said, I feel like you did not believe it ever would. There's something that either you're revealing, you might be revealing something about this person, or it could be that it was revealed to you. But either way, there was a betrayal. There's a sense of betrayal. You And your ships are now coming in, and you, you didn't think they would, but here it is. You've been very patient. You've been very patient, waiting to see what was going to happen. So, let's see. Um, show me the Six of Pentacles reversed. The Sun in reverse. Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Four of Cups reversed. Okay, so I feel like you gave more to the connection than this person did. There was a lot of unhappiness here, though. I feel like you you weren't happy in the situation, and neither were they. Now, for you, you may feel that this is a missed opportunity. You feel that this person was unable to see the love that you were trying to give them because they were too focused on their past. Um, so you walked away from the connection, but I feel like you may... may feel like there's still some unfinished business here. Um, it was hard for you to walk away from this connection. I can see that. In their energy, this is somebody who is very closed off. They're not offering anything. Um, even when they were, it was very small. So again, you were giving much more than they were giving. Um, it looks like there is some third-party energy. This person could have tried to make you a third party. Because I feel like this person was pretending to be single when they were not. And you didn't know. You didn't realize this. So this person has pulled their energy back. I see that there's been a lack of communication. Their heart is closed off. And they're, they're holding a grudge. Um, I'm also seeing, though, that this person may come forward with some very sharp communication. And if they don't, they want to. Yeah. This was not a happy connection, though. 
Let's see, um, let me see the outcome. Oof. All right, we have the devil. There's that toxic energy. We have judgment in reverse, and we have the nine of nine of cups. So I do see I do see both of you kind of releasing this. This was a toxic connection. There was um, a lot of toxic energy here, and yet there was also a you know almost like a moth to flame. But when the moth gets to that flame, it burns them, and so. It was like the two of you were drawn together. There was a karmic contract that was here. And now that contract has been fulfilled. So this person is trying to figure out what it is that they want in love. This person loves very selfishly though. And it has cost them more than one relationship. Um, I do see this relationship ended because this person was selfish when it came to love. Could be dealing with somebody who also has some dr a drinking problem with the devil and the nine of cups here. Um, yeah, this, this person is a bit toxic. I am seeing in your energy that things are now moving in your favor. Um, you've made some choices here. And one of those choices, it was a judgment call. Um, that choice was to not reconcile with this person, to not come back together with this person. Um, you may even feel like you made a poor judgment uh, call when you did come together with this person. Like I said, it was the moth to the flame. And in in your energy, you're realizing the toxicity of this and you're let, letting it go. You're releasing it. Your ability to do that, Cancer, is what is causing things to now move in your favor. And you are receiving your karmic justice. You feel betrayed by this person. You've patiently waited for justice and you are receiving it. Um, I do feel like there was some sort of a karmic contract that's now ended. But the, this person's still remaining in some very toxic energy. They are trying to open their heart. They're trying to, um, you know, find what it is that makes them happy, especially with regard to love. And I do feel that they are struggling here with some toxic, toxic behavior, so... Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is underlying energy, and it does indicate a lack of communication. So even though this person has some things that they want to say, they feel that, you know, they want to speak their truth to you. I don't think they're going to do it. I feel like they're holding that back. They're, they're not able to offer anything, and they're choosing to play the victim instead, um, which is a lie. Uh, so it leaves you with a lack of clarity, and I think you kind of left that door open so you could gain that clarity, but they're not going to provide that for you. Um, and you're looking at this now as a missed opportunity. So it looks to me like you're on the right track, and this person has some things that they need to work out. All right, let's see if there's any messages for you. Spirit, can I have messages for the sign of cancer? messages for the sign of cancer. All right, let's see what you got. It says, we will overcome this. All right, I don't think you're overcoming this together. I, I feel like the car, there was a karmic contract here and it's been fulfilled at this point. So, you know, we do bring karmics into our life in order to teach us things. So I my best advice, Cancer, would be to look at what you learned from this and, you know, move forward because the indications are that you walking away from this person is what is bringing about the justice for you. And I do feel that, um, you know, you've learned something from this. It's going to be different for everybody, of course, but you're overcoming this. Um, and this person is as well. Um, they were learning something within this context as well. So hopefully this has provided a little clarity for you and given you some insight into this connection. Um, if you've resonated with this, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel until I see you in your next reading. Namaste.